Hey guys, Chris here. Today I have a two-pole, two-door, two-vestible, two-man Alps Mountaineering Lynx 2. We're gonna set that up and take a look at that. That's next. Okay, I have the Alps Mountaineering 2, Lynx 2. Found a nice level spot here. This is the next step up from the Lynx 1, which I did a previous review on. I love these tents. And uh, this is very similar to the Lynx 1, except it fits two people with, like I said, two vestibules, two doors, and uh, it weighs 5.24 pounds. It's, it's definitely heavier um, but it's a uh, it's a decent tent, and uh, we're gonna set that thing up, and we'll talk about that. Okay, the links to the base dimensions of the tent, the main tent, are five feet by seven and a half feet. The height to the ceiling at the highest point is three feet ten inches. The vestibule depth is 32 inches from the point. So the vestibule comes out like this from the, that point to the tent is about 32 inches. Enough to get a couple of backpacks in there and your shoes. But what's cool is obviously, like we said, there's a vestibule on each side of the tent, two doors, so each person has their own door and their own vestibule, which I really like that. Uh, the tent has 37 square feet in the main tent, and the, each vestibule has 20 square feet. So that's pretty cool. The, uh, the tent weighs five pounds, four ounces. So what you would do is you would take this tent and you would you would divide it up between your partners. So you would take he would take or she would take the the tent poles, the stakes, and the rain fly, and you would take the main tent and split split up this weight. So you could cut this thing to about two and a half pounds per person if you got two people. But I like with the double doors and the double vestibules. That's a good way to go. So let's set her up. So for tonight, for my rain fly, I'm going to go with the uh, the Arrera. Er I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Anyways, I picked up this tarp, and uh, this is my rain tarp, but it's not raining tonight. I'm going to use this as my ground cloth just for tonight until I can find one that's a custom fit for this uh, five by seven and a half foot tent. So. Give me something to work with here at least. But it's a really nice tarp. I'm looking forward to uh, getting into a good rainstorm, having the tarp set up overhead over my whole camp, and then have my my uh, Lynx 2 or my Lynx 1 in the back, and then the fire out front just outside of the, uh, the tarp here. Let's see how fast I can set this thing up. It's just two poles, just like the Lynx one. It's a two pole design, it's just expanded. It's even the exact same colors and everything. I love it. Look at that, this comes together nice and quick. Cross them over. And we got the grommets in the corners just like the Lynx 1.
go. That's the basis of the whole tent, right there, that's it. There's not even any sleeves that the uh, poles need to go in. That's the great thing about this tent, is it has a clip system. Put the main clip in the middle, like that. Look at that, tent's already pretty much up. Now we just click those in place. And we'll put the rain fly on, we'll stake it out. But that's it. And that was by myself for a two-man tent, so that's that's pretty good. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. I like the colors on it too. They're very natural colors. Sometimes you get the bright greens, the bright blues. They just don't seem very natural. I guess orange is kind of more natural in the fall or something. Now the Lynx 2, just like the Lynx 1, has the fly clip system, which clips in to the tent there, which I really like. That makes things really fast. You're not dealing with uh, little hold downs and Velcro straps or anything like that. You're just clipping this in four clips. Four clips. <laughs> so let's clip her on. What I'm gonna do is grab it by the vestibule point here Hold on to that and then grab the rest of the tent, throw it over like that. See, there we go. So now everything's going to line right up. And there's our vestibule. I love that. Isn't that great? Just clips right in there. And you can even pull the strap down and get it even tighter. There's also two grommet holes. If you want to make it even firmer, you can put it in this on all the way around, and it just tightens up the uh, the roof of the tent. The whole tent just is a little firmer all the way around. It does come with a little pouch for everything. Tent poles got a bag. Stakes got a bag. It does come with a couple of little patches. Uh, in case there's a tear in your tent and you got some material to work with. It does have a good collection of uh, aluminum stakes and some guy lines. Uh, I think tonight I'm not going to need the uh, guy lines. Let's stake it out. Okay, there it is essentially. That's it. So let's take a look inside here. Uh, I did want to mention that there is one guy line on each upper corner here where this is just a it's a tie down for the vestibule. So so there's four there's four guy line holders. That's all you need once it's staked out and uh, that'll that'll do the trick. It's a pretty cool tent. And uh, there's the uh, there's the double vestibule. I'm right next to this tree, so it's a little tight here, but I got it to fit just to demo it here but how cool is that double vestibules and double doors <laughs> there is velcro on each vestibule that's nice just to just to keep the uh, the zippers from getting wet and possibly freezing if it's uh, if you're in cold temps does have a little zipper here, heavy duty zipper, and it just has the uh, the string attached, which is kind of nice because your hands won't get uh, cold if it's if it's a metal metal tong or whatever. But so when this vestibule is pulled out, there you go. That's your your space there. You know, that's all you need. But that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Also, also up under the vestibule, you can see there's a place that you can Velcro the poles right there. There we go. <laughs> you can Velcro the poles to, here's the Velcro piece, a Velcro strap 
the Velcro to the poles there, so that's nice. And you can see this this uh, rain fly is a good three or four inches away from the tent. But there it is. It does have the uh, the little bags attached in the car. I like those. That's where my keys go and my flashlight right there. <laughs> That is the important stuff, and your phone or whatever, but it does have a couple of thin windows. Look at that. So you can see wildlife coming at night. <laughs> and that is plastic. Very interesting. Isn't that interesting? They put a plastic sheet. It's just kind of almost like an eyeball shape, but just enough so you can see outside. They got one at each end. That's your only window. But I hear it's uh, factory sealed, seam sealed. These seams right here right there and the edges have been sealed at the factory from what I hear so here is the center height I did put the gear loft in you can see that right here that's nice and the good thing about gear loft is you can see exactly what's in it so but you can see okay that's that three feet and like, here's my head. Look at how much room I still have. It's very tall. It's almost four feet tall. And that's most of the ceiling is that height. It doesn't peak. It, it's kind of at the, the whole top here. But very nice. I'm really impressed with this tent. And, uh, you know, it's going to be tight for two people. It'll definitely fit. You can see my sleeping bag here. Right there. And then here's... The other side, I only got one sleeping bag in here, but there's definitely enough room for two people to sleep in here. And <laughs> it's a little awkward doing a video in a tent like this, but uh, I think we're getting the picture here. But yeah, very cool. I like it. I'm going to give it, I'm going to get four and a half stars or boot prints or whatever but it is a little heavy though five pounds four ounces but like I said with two people that'll work but, uh, all in all I think it's a really solid tent the reviews have been really good on it and I'm gonna take it out uh, real soon again and maybe get into some weather and see how that does but two-man tent and I wouldn't mind even doing solos with it and have the extra room uh, in case you do get caught in some rain or whatever. But very nice tent. And uh, I like the Alps, uh, the Alps tents. So now I got the Alps 1 and the 2. So, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll try them both out this summer and uh, do some adventures with it. I got a lot of fun things coming up. And we're going to be giving away some things. I got a couple packs I'm going to give away. So be watching for that. So thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. Keep hiking. Hey guys, Chris here. I wanted to thank sportsman's warehouse for donating the links to to my channel this tent is currently for sale on their website for $129.99 go check them out at sportsman's.com they're, they're very competitive on their prices outdoor gear uh, camping gear fly fishing gear etc so go check them out thanks again sportsman's